Hello, hello. It is I, Self-Critical Automaton. And it is games to be playing this afternoon. I don't often wish for a completion percentage on games, but I'm kind of curious about Hollow Knight, specifically because, like, I just want to know how much of it is left at any given time, because it's so delightful at every moment. So let's see how far we've come so far. Drawn by some inexorable magnetism, we, and we cross the world to visit Dirtmouth, a miserable town scratching out a living atop an empty series of dusty museum-like caves full of emptiness and fossils. Um, because we are drawn through some strange migratory compulsion to head to the abandoned city of uh, Hallow Nest, which has some kind of mythic importance. Uh, we went to Greenpath trying to find our way down, and we met someone called Hornet, who told us that she wasn't going to let us go to Hallow Nest because we are to fulfill some kind of malevolent or possibly divine purpose when we reach there, and things like me are compelled to travel there for that purpose. Continued on to the Fungal Wastes, where we fought some kind of uh, Mantis people and their three lords. Uh, I beat one of the lords and then the other two showed up and I was like, nah, I'm gonna leave. Um, and we were advised to seek out Hallow Nest itself, because Hallow Nest has a, uh, a smith who will be able to forge us a better sword, which will allow us to take on the, uh, the Mantis people's lords. Still not entirely sure why I need to go go slaughter the Mantis People's Lords when uh, what I am actually trying to do is get into Hallow Nest. They didn't seem to... Oh, the spike's on there. Good to know. <laughs> they did not seem to be standing between me and Hallow Nest. As far as I can tell, this is the entrance to Hallow Nest. We're on our way. So I'm not entirely sure why I might need to go back and murder them all. Haha, <laughs> get spiked, idiot, and the idiot is me. Fell on the elevator spikes? Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. I mean, it might be racism. Hallow Nest certainly seems to think of itself as the only civilized place in the world. And places that think of themselves as the only civilized places in the world tend to do colonialisms. Which is bad for anyone who's listening and doesn't necessarily know my stance on the matter. So I assume that this is the way to Hallow Nest over here. But the main thing I'm doing at the moment is attempting to grind up enough uh, enough ready cash that I can pay the surprisingly low fee of 250 GR and upgrade my sword, or my nail as they call it, which is a delightful piece of theming. Because we're tiny little bug people, so naturally an iron nail to a human is a it's a great sword to a, a little a little guy. Anyway, as I mentioned previously, I'm trying to do this chill streams thing, which is a stream or a, a style of streaming where I'm quiet and peaceful and I say about 70% less than I normally say on my normal streams. As you may or may not be able to tell, I'm failing in that goal right now. However, it is a necessity because my busted lungs don't allow me to talk incessantly for two hours. Therefore, my preferred previous style of streaming, where I simply do not shut the fuck up, is no longer viable for me to perform. Looks like these guys are armed with nails, like I am.
I wonder if the Masked Knights of the Surface are connected more directly to Halloness. Hmm. Tachyon, it is always nice to see you. <clears throat> Let's see, this is a new street sign, so I don't know what that indicates. Fleur de Lis, maybe a throne room? Sorry you've been having a bad time. Unfortunately, I'm not extremely talkative the way I usually am because of my busted lungs, as I was just explaining previously. Which is why I've started trying to do these chill, quiet streams where I simply <clears throat> am destroyed by noble knights bearing some kind of curse or possibly metaphor. Watching the little bug guy run around is one of the major draws of this game, I think. up here. This seems like an optional area considering it was hidden on top of a main gateway. Ah, assaults. enough to upgrade my sword now. Perhaps I will go back and do that before continuing to explore further into this place. Oh, there's another elevator, but... Hmm. Only accessible from higher up. Hell yeah, shortcuts. That's Dark Souls, baby. Maybe we're supposed to access this place from the, the lower floor anyway, and I'm just uh, getting here extra fast because I came from a higher up level. Ah, oh, impediment. I see how it is. I really admire how every different zone feels very different and yet feels part of a cohesive whole. The art style is really remarkably consistent. Both in its form and in its delightfulness. Oh, that's corner for paper, isn't it? Is here? Oh, fuck. The little caterpillars are probably my favourite random NPCs in this game. I love the noises that they make. Sometimes when I am not very happy, I will s sit in the kitchen going... Meow, meow, meow. 
Wow, I better be careful not to die and lose all of my carefully hoarded geo. That would be pretty bad. Yep, the bug currency is called Geo. What it is made from is anyone's guess. Geodes, presumably. I think I've figured out a flaw in these guys' fighting style. A high degree of vulnerability to being attacked from above. A mechanism with a simple keyhole. So it's like I need a simple key. I can buy a simple key up at the surface, but I don't have access to the surface currently because when I entered this entryway to the city, I got locked in. Ooh. What's this now? Again we meet, little ghost. I'm normally quite perceptive. You I underestimated, though I've since guessed the truth. You've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Yours is resilience born of two voids. It's no surprise, then, that you've managed to reach the heart of this world. In so doing, you shall know the sacrifice that keeps it standing. If, knowing that truth, you'd still attempt a role in Hallow Nest's perpetuation, seek the grave in ash, and the mark it would grant to one like you. And she Spider-Man's away. It is it is really remarkable how different this game is from Dark Souls at a glance, and how similar it is if you look at it for even more than a couple seconds. It's got the same characters, it's got, as far as I can tell, the same thematic basis. Even the idea of being sort of compulsively drawn along some kind of divine path that sounds like it may ultimately be, betray be betraying you or indeed the world itself. Memorial to the Hollow Knight. In the Black Vault far above, through its sacrifice, Hollow Nest lasts eternal. Interesting. So that means that uh, I am not the Hollow Knight, which is good information to have. Dark Souls did not have enough little bug guys, however it did uh, have a great stock in trade in magnificent grandeurs now fallen into decay and disrepair. You know, noble knights wandering aimlessly having forgotten the basis of their purpose. You know. Haunting melodies, evocative nouns, it's all there. Oh, that's... Uh oh that's a problem. <laughs> okay, that's locked. That probably means I have to go up and around the way I was going previously. Unless I want to open this and explore what's down there. I wonder if Hollow Knight has any optional paths. It's not that weird for a Metroidvania to have optional paths, but it's... Or op optional sections or whatever. But... You never know. Ooh, that was close. Jesus. Fighting these guys is honestly not that different to actually trying to fight real bugs in real life. Another thing it shares with Dark Souls, the tendency for certain enemies to just pitch themselves 
fruitlessly into the void. You know, for all that I do keep talking about how excellently put together this game is and how much I love it and how beautiful it is, um, it's a real shame that they released it with so many bugs. <laughs> That's a pun, by the way. Oh, there's a guy. Mora's son, Gian. Aye, aye. Come searching for rare items, have you? Well, hands off. This collection is mine, and I won't be selling to grubby little wanderers. Still, I imagine you come across many interesting items in your travels. Maybe you'd care to part with some. I'll offer a fair trade for each. Velmi Aha! So that's what these are for. So he'll take one he'll take my Wanderer's journal for two hundred, and he'll take a Hollow Nest seal for So this guy's like an antiquarian that I can sell these collectibles to. These interesting journals give us an these journals give us an interesting glimpse into the minds and hearts of those who lived before us. They're a common find, so I can't offer much for them. These ornate seals were the official symbols of the king and his knights, and were treasured by those who carried them. The king and his knights are long gone, but the seals still hold value as curiosities. I'll pay a modest price for them. I mean, if I just sell... I, I hope I don't need these for anything later, I assume I... Although they're common finds in the kingdom, I much enjoy the deciphering of their text. Read together, they paint a morbid tale. It seems fate was unkind to most who travel within Hallownest's ruin. Velmi Ardred. So this guy's a, this guy's a latecomer, right? He's not been here since Hollow Nest fell. Or so it seems to me. He's a, he's like a... Oh hey, this is the other side of... Is this the other side of a place I found? Yeah, I smashed this already. Yeah, so this is the other side of that door I found. So I was right, I am supposed to go upwards. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, the top of the Forgotten Crossroads. I have been there and I did I did find that temple. But yeah, so presumably non-insane travellers occasionally kind of fall down in here and get trapped. Haha, <laughs> get spiked, idiot. Oh wait, no, that was where the statue was. So I've got no reason to not to just go get my nail upgraded. I'm gonna go get my nails done. Ah, you've returned. If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade far more deadly. As you wish, I'll get to work then. There we go, the reforging is complete. I've honed your nail's edge. You'll find it much stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its strength against your foes. This guy seems very chill. As I mentioned when we met him previously, he is absolutely an Andre the Blacksmith, because... Because every Dark Souls character is in this game. But he's chiller than Andre. I like his vibes. Anyway, uh... Time to go before anyone starts making jokes about getting nailed by a rhinoceros beetle. Wow, 
One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's exactly one hit faster <laughs> to kill these guys. I think. Were they five hits before? I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure how the game calculates damage. Sharpened nail, restored to lethal form. The nails are the traditional weapons of Hallow Nests. Hallow Nest. And we are a knight, maybe? We might be a knight? And the knights of Hallow Nest are a thing. But they're a banished thing. But also, the bug people with white masks like this are some kind of a some kind of a class unto themselves. So I wonder if we're the remnants of Hallow Nest. But if that's the case, why are we recalled now? And Hornet said something about... Said something about the perpetuation of this place, but it seems like it's nothing but a husk. Seems like it's nothing but an ambulatory corpse of a kingdom. Any insights? None whatsoever. Now, when we came in here, it sealed the door and locked me in. I don't think I can get back out. I do like to test a hypothesis. <laughs> yeah, that's about as locked as a door gets. Oh, hey, did I go up here? I must have done. So it looks like it's possible to get to the top of here. Yeah, that must be from a different part of the upstairs world. I should have gone there before I came down here and went behind a door that locked, which the game did not door game did not warn me was going to lock. Which I suppose puts me in much the same position as I suppose if he's not the Hollow Knight, or even a Hollow Knight, I'm gonna need a new name for the protagonist, because like what's his deal? else and none, none shall enter, none shall leave. I did see all that already. Why have I come back to look at all this stuff I already know about? A little guy is a little guy. Quirrell is more of a good, good fellow. The one who's upstairs at the moment, or at least was last time I saw him, is more of a crotchety granddad. Andre's Andre. Apparently there's a patches somewhere. Oh, that's right, I still don't have the key. And this doesn't go anywhere interesting that we haven't already seen. Obsessively retreading your ground is just a, a thing you get used to when you play Metroidvanias. Although it has been a long time since I last played one. Damn, packs a punch. Oh no. Hmm. 
Another new fact we've learned. Apparently his head is sufficiently hard enough that it... Uh, I think there's a parrying mechanic, but I haven't figured it out yet. Have you been up there? Yeah, I went up there, didn't I? I don't know. Yeah, this was the long way up. We did go up this way already. Damn, three secrets down there, huh? Oh, that's a window. Not unlike a real insect, I have uh, fallen for that old trick. <laughs> Me watching a blue bottle fail to fly out of my living room. The window's right open, why can't you get through? What's your problem? Me, being a bug, encountering a window. Hey, what's this invisible force field that I can't get through? Oh, a rancid egg. That's my second one. I don't know what they're for, but I'll find out eventually, I suspect. Hmm, these both go up. Let's look down first, though. Kind of pointless as a shortcut, but whatever. Ah, another locked door. I need me one of them good, good quirrell maps. there's a fast travel station around somewhere. No! That's as high as this goes, but this way has two more other ways. I do wonder if the the rancid eggs have anything to do with the uh, orange goo that comes out of the things you fight. Which, as far as I know, the ones with orange eyes or the orange goo comes out of are corrupted in some way. I think I made inferences a long time ago about uh, the cordyceps fungus and the idea that this horrible mind-eating mind curse that compels you to go to certain places. Like, there's a fun metaphor there. Whether or not it's literal in in bug world from the point of view of bug people i do imagine that being infected by cordyceps fungus and having a strange mental compulsion to go to a place that will ultimately result in your destruction but the furtherance of some kind of other agency um probably would probably would feel kind of like a curse I bet this is one of those uh, situations where they released some kind of thing or created some kind of a thing that ultimately destroyed them through their hubris. And now the real risk is letting that out into the uh, wider world itself. Does that go up? Yeah. Bravo! Oh, I've done this already, actually. Bye. Pff, 
Ghost me was real bad at this. Real me is so much better than ghost me. Tall machine. Oh yeah, I forgot there's tools for benches. A culture really determined to squeeze every penny out of its populace, huh? Isn't this a change from those twisting natural caverns? The rain does cast something of a sadness upon it all, but the architecture is simply splendid. I agree. I agree about both of those points, but I also think that the sadness and rain is a... Uh, what's the opposite of a flaw? Yeah, they probably are going to do that in bus stations sometime. Charting such a different space is quite the challenge, though one I've eagerly undertaken. Perhaps you care to purchase a copy of my achievements so far? Abs are fucking lootly. Now no secret will be held from me. We both come far to reach this grand place. While I'm about these buildings, I must remember to collect a trinket or two for Iselda. Bruh, she doesn't care about the trinkets, she cares about you! She's lonely as hell in her tiny house. Go- go see your wife, for fuck's sake! So, hmm, I... Actually, how the fuck did he get here, anyway? I had to- I had to- I had to fight, uh, like... Ancient Lord of the Mantis people to- to open the door to get in here. How the fuck did Corner forget in? The door shut immediately behind me. And Quirrell, for that matter. Watch where you're going, you soggy vagabond. I don't want you to keep splashing me. I've had a miserable time trying to keep dry. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. If I decide that I'm going to stay dry, that's what's going to happen. Curse this wretched city. Water and monsters constantly fall from above. It's no wonder this blasted kingdom fell to ruin. Maybe that's what happened to the other guys. They wormed in some other path, and I, like a fool, took the correct one. Have you seen them, the guards who still patrol this city even after dying? Hmm, <laughs> being overly devoted to one's duties is no virtue. What's your deal, you grumpy old fart? Maybe this is how they got in. I bet this is a... I bet this will... Oh, hey, yeah. It's the other side of this door, which leads back to where we first came in. So this must be how they got in, then. There's just another path. Which, again, is very fitting for bug people, creeping through the woodwork and emerging unsuspect... Uh, un unexpectedly. Nice throws, idiot. Oh, it's another one of these weird bicycle trees. So that's two of those I found now. I don't know what they are, though. Clumsy. I like to take a fight with elegance, ideally. 
Haha, the simple key that opens the gate down at the bottom of the place. architecture. They really do like their upwards pointing spikes. I wonder if they're just decorative or if they're there to prevent the uh, prevent access for like I guess homeless bugs. <laughs> you know, all the peoples that the Grand Empire displaced. No tolls on that one. So even these guys who monetize, who've, who've gleefully monetized the benches elsewhere, aren't so callous as to charge people to use the benches in a train station. City storerooms. I think I'll, hmm. I want to go get money before I go up to the surface. I could sell my stuff to the guy who buys the stuff I sell, uh, which is the best place for it. Or perhaps I could go get my money out of the bank. That might be the better option. Lying around. Oh, this must be the underside of that enormous lift that I couldn't gain access to previously. Oh, and this is that winged crowned egg symbol is the symbol that was at the uh, the mantis village. So there is more of a connection between them then than I had previously thought. Big locked gate. I wonder where that goes. Aha! I see. So I'm never going to gain access to down there. Interestingly, though, that does allow us to go this way for the first time. Do you butt your head at me, sir? You butt your head at me, sir? The law is with him if he butts it, but not if he butts it at me. Which I think is the Shakespearean equivalent to, I'm just waving my arms. If you get punched, it's your fault for being in range. Oh, hey. A shortcut that I don't really need. fragment? Oh, a soul fragment, I think. I didn't know that such a thing could be found. Oh, that's <laughs> right. That's why there's a shortcut to get back, because otherwise you can't. Let's see. I can now go to the place opposite the ancestral mound. I don't think there's anywhere else I can get so far. I need the ground pound to get through the mines at the top right, and I need the the light source to get through the place next to it, so those are still locked off. But one 
previously blocked off place is now open to me. And there's a weird obsessive I'm going to go explore there before coming back to the actual capital and exploring there properly. Plus, I just, I still really like the crossroads. The fossils everywhere is a real strong vibe. I said so more eloquently in previous streams. previously. Hell yeah. Loan tunnel completed. Soon I shall have me an extra hit point, and then Father shall at last be proud of me. Guys! Yeah. Sup, lads? These are white masked bugs as well. Yeah. And they gossip when I'm not around. Therefore, they must be gossiping about me. A rational conclusion. I know what their deal is. There must be something I can do with them later, like. Get up there. some stuff that I decided to come back to earlier, uh, later. That I earlier decided to come back to later, I guess? Yeah, let's go with that. That I have now completely forgotten where it was. A couple places in the green path that needed the wall jumping to get to. Hello, Grandpa Worm. Thank you for the pocket money. Ooh. Grub song. Ah, so they're grubs, I guess. Contains the gratitude of freed grubs. Gain soul when you take damage. I wonder who imprisoned them and why. I love those guys so much.
This might be a rough one. Odd place to put the look down tutorial. Ooh. Ominous. Primordial, even. Oh, motherfucker. Ready for that today. Oh, hey, the old biddies have gone. No longer content with merely gossiping. I mean, he didn't seem that tough. I was just surprised. Uh, I think I probably could have done a better job. Regardless, I don't want to leave uh, whatever obscene amount of geo it was I had. Uh, you know, lying around for some other bug to take. Every single platforming challenge in this game gets immediately easier the moment you have a the moment you have its uh, respective muscle memory down. Hello. That is the biggest one of these we've seen so far. It looks familiar. I think I've seen that shape somewhere else. God damn spikes. Oh, that's a shame. I quite like platforming. Uh, I struggle to platform and fight at the same time, but I, I'm all right at platforming. I've definitely loved and completed many platformers in my time, although mostly modern ones, particularly modern indie throwbacky ones. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 will forever be my white whale. I'm never going to beat that damn thing. It's easy to get to the penultimate level, and then I just can't get past the penultimate level. It's really weird.
I think if I wasn't streaming, I could definitely take him here. I would just sit and do it three to three or four times and then I would get him. Uh, since I'm live, I don't want to throw myself at the same boss over and over. <clears throat> just because I think that will make for bad radio. On the other hand, <clears throat> I do feel like I have his measure now. Like, the trick with all these kinds of platformer bosses is exactly the same as with Dark Souls bosses. You just have to learn when to be dodging and when to be attacking. <clears throat> learn where the safe windows are and don't get greedy. Yeah, well, like I said, <clears throat> I think if I took him on one, two, three more times, I'd probably, I'd probably get him in one of those, but I don't want to be throwing my head against something fruitlessly. everything there is to see here then which means it's probably time to head back to hmm, if I go to the if I go to the train station that's probably the best option and then I can take the train to the banker and get my money out of the bank and then spend my money on stuff things frivolities little indulgences Yeah, I think the trick to spotting the patterns when you're also trying to do too many other things is just forget about attacking, like... Like, there are other times for attacking and there are other times for, um... Just focusing on dodging. Weirdly, I've also found that, like, focusing too much on, on the character is, is a problem. I have. If I sort of let my eyes relax a little bit and just look at the whole screen at once, uh, I, I find it a lot easier to do stuff like dodge and attack at the same time. I suppose the monetization system these guys use isn't ex isn't especially predatory. Like, you pay a toll to open the gates, but once the gates are open, they stay open. So so long as someone in your local community is willing to pay for bus access, everybody gets to use the bus for free, which is significantly better, I would say, than our uh, current system in the real world. Oh, I've heard all of this already. I look forward to finding out what this thing's deal is. Everyone loves a giraffe wheel. Can I have my money, please? You have selected all. What, no interest? What kind of a bank is this? Oh, see, dodging and... Dodging and platforming at the same time doesn't feel difficult for me. For the most part, I think, because it's just kind of the same kind of thing. Like, if, it, if they were moving spikes I was having to dodge, that would be the same as if it's attack. Uh, like attack projectiles or whatever. Like it's not meaningfully different to be dodging bullets. Uh, 
as opposed to whatever other thing. Ah, I see. Well, have you considered merely getting good then? Hell yeah. My first finished mask. I love to have an extra hit point. Let's see. Uh, okay, I can see one extra place from the Mantis. Two places, three places from the Mantis village that I don't know how to get to. But I'm not dealing with them yet. Okay. Probably good to go to the Forgotten Crossroads uh, path. There's definitely some stuff there to grab. I'm not gonna like, writing a novel kind of, you know, blows anything else out of the water. Like, yeah, no. It's, it's legit to be like, I thought about getting good, but then I decided to do something meaningful with my life instead. Meanwhile. <laughs> The big balloon lads are extremely good, and it's a shame that I have to murder them relentlessly. Tragically, if I don't murder them, they won't make their good noise. How do I get in there? Below on the other side, maybe? Aha! Well, that was a cavalcade of failure. Oh, I didn't take it as an insult, but I did take it as a bit of a genuinely funny, not a humble brag, but like a, I don't know, there's a word for something. Hmm, I might not be able to make that jump. Do I get an extended dodge later or so? Oh no, hang on, if I go from the underside. All right, one more try. Aha, I'm a genius. But yeah, don't worry, I didn't take it as an insult. A lot of extremely good enemy types in this game, yeah. Stinky. Oh, of course I can't. <laughs> right, so it's uh, it's actively poisonous or actively damaging water, not merely not merely you drown if you go in it. Water. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I still don't want any of this guy's weird merchandise. That's right. I think there must be an upgrade later that lets you go through water. There has to be. I don't think it's possible to get through that gap otherwise. Ooh. Ooh. Adorable as their snoots may be, I do not wish to examine them in further detail. Oh. 
I still want to know where the weird little chunk of the Forgotten Crossroads that I didn't have a map for. But I th think... Did it come out of the top side of the top side of the other top side of the fungal No, it was out of the top of the green path. Was there something over there? Okay, that's the last thing I'll check before I head back towards the critical path, I think. above that central portion. I love all of the music in this game. I think it really... It, it really skillfully evokes the correct feeling for each zone. Dust and echoes. A gudgeoning verdancy as uh, nature reclaims a fallen world. Uh, the deep tragedy of fallen grandeur. It's all there. very Ghibli, which I've said a million times. I've just realised I got all my money out of the bank and then didn't go buy the thing I was going to go buy with the money I got out of the bank. Extremely wise behaviour. If I lose it all, I'll be heartbroken. I say immediately before hurling myself into the spikes. This is where I fought those balders, and then I found the balder shell upgrade. Aha! Bonus secrets. Hmm. 
Well, these bugs. I mean, I killed them ages ago, so. Oh, you mean the money. <laughs> yeah. Maybe an unintentional flex. I feel good enough at this game that I probably won't lose this money until I go spend it on things, which is a form of losing one's money. Oh, hey, is that the outside? Does this lead back to the intro zone? Oh, this is... Aha, there's another one of these bicycle thingamajiggies. This is a whole ass zone I didn't know was a thing. I'm gonna have to hope that it has somewhere a nice, uh, nice big bug who will take me back to town. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. What does that mean? We had a message for higher beings previously. Are we higher beings? Is that what... Is that the kind of thing that we are? What does it mean that we've been granted minds? It sounds like... It sounds like the blame is for Hallowness that anything has a mind in this world at all. Is that what's going on? Or have we, us ascended higher beings, the, been the only things granted minds by Hallowness and everybody else just has a mind? Enjoying the bracing air, we're quite close to Hallowness's borders and those desolate plains that surround it. In this direction, I'm about as far as I'm willing to go, although it's been a pleasant change from the tight confines of the caverns. I've drawn out a small map for the area. It's a simple one and more for completion, really. Not knowing the full extents of a region can be frustrating. I chanced upon a strange bug atop these cliffs. His house isn't far from here. A very imposing figure he was, and no doubt lethal with a nail. I suspect you two might share more in common than he and I. Now if I go up there, am I going to get my ass kicked? Is he just going to attack me, or can I talk to him? Wait, this is where we came from. This is... This is where the game started. Interesting. I'm starting to wonder what the difference is between Hallow Nest and the world itself. It seems like... It seems like the borders of Hallow Nest are implicitly in some way the borders also of the world. But is that just what the inhabitants of Hallow Nest think or say? Because after all, they're of the opinion that theirs is the only civilization in the entire world that matters. But what if there is no civ what if there just isn't a world beyond its borders? If this is the border of Hallow Nest, then Dirtmouth and all of the other places we've been must be in Hallow Nest. I guess they're just smaller settlements inside Hallow Nest rather than slain creatures. This uh Aha. Is this the house you mentioned? There's a lot of swords lying around. Hey, hey man, are we cool? <laughs> Nail Master Mato. Ah, well met. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. No, don't speak a word. I, Nailmaster Matteau, who was taught by the uh, the art of the nail by the great nail sage himself, hereby accept you as my pupil. Let us begin the lesson immediately. He's going to kick my ass, oh my god. Yeah. 
Oh, you just got oh, fuck. Oh, okay, that was fine. <laughs> Please don't fight me. Your form is exquisite. Now I know how my own master felt when he passed down his teachings to us. I hope you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. Yes, when I saw you perform my nail art, I felt a bond between us suddenly flash into existence. You honour me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Bam. Finden. Can I not can I not bow back to him? Bam. Finden. Bam. Finden. Well that was cool, I guess. Thanks, guy. Interesting. A lot of intriguing... A lot of intriguing and mysterious stuff going on. So I guess, guess Dirtmouth is the last inhabited town in Hallow Nest, with, or well, last inhabited village, and it's just on the very edge, the very borders. But they seem to, I guess the name is the same for the capital city and for the nation itself. Here lies Gorb, the Great Mind. Also intriguing. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, thousands even of shelves, of shells of varying sizes, large and small, all scattered around the outside of this place. On the outskirts of the kingdom. Do we dwell in the skeletons of those who came before, or... Is this the remains of whatever last army successfully destroyed Hallownest and ended its uh, golden age? Okay. I don't like dark rooms. That's why I need to go buy the lantern. But I definitely look forward to coming back up here and exploring more when I'm not at risk of losing my precious consciousness. I think it was very unfair of that bug to try and spawn kill me. I always, I did wonder, having started playing this game like six times over the years and never having gotten more than a few hours in. In fact, this is nearly the furthest I've ever been into this game. In fact, I'd say it is the furthest. There's an area I explored on my last attempt that I haven't explored yet on this one. Or started to explore. But... There's an area I've started to explore in this one that I hadn't in the previous, so... Oh, this just leads back up to the top of the cliffs. Boring. So anyway, I've seen that passageway a few times and always been like, huh, I guess this means you can revisit the opening area at some point.
Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Ah yeah, tutorial text. I remember you. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. So yeah, I guess that lends credence to my idea that the... The mask-headed knights are... Were sent out from Hallownest out into the outside world at some point, the barren wasteland, and are now compelled to return. For whatever reason. Oh, that's menacing. Fury of the Fallen. Do more damage when you're nearly about to die. Ah, a red tear stone ring, yet another parallel with Dark Souls. Wait, hang on. Oh, right, okay. Beyond this point, you enter land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallownest. So yeah, everything inside the borders is Hallownest, then. Hell, yeah, no longer shall darkness dog my steps. Hmm. Okay, so behind the huge door is a shortcut to Hallow Nest. I forgot to read this guy's thing out, but whatever. I can't complain. It means we have only ever had to accommodate a trickle of travellers, even during our busiest times. Wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend on Dirtmouth. I like the quiet. Entry to the kingdom was forbidden long ago, supposedly after some great calamity. Many gates were closed, but our old well remains a way to creep back in. Over the years, all kinds used the well to wriggle into the ruins, wanderers, thieves, adventurers. Funny how few ever come back up. Perhaps they find what they're looking for. No, I'm not so naive. No doubt they've all been gobbled up. There are countless dangers in the depths. I mean, yeah, presumably whatever caused the place to be shut down.
I think I've heard most of this before. Ah, <sighs> I see he still hasn't come to visit her. She needs to get her a bug who will treat her right. Instead of her absentee, it, absentee husband. Oh, I can use the simple D key to open this. What? Okay. Huh. That means there's two things I can open with the simple key now. There's the... There's the weird little thing at the bottom of the entrance to the capital. And there's this one up here, which... Hmm, 9.50. Okay, well the next time I have a thousand geo, I'm going to come back here and buy that and use it to open the... the door over there. go resume exploring the city though I think. Although I probably should give the jellyfish zone another look at some point. Oh no. I forgot about the spikes again. You forget about the spikes at your peril in Hallow Nest. Or I guess maybe the whole place is the Hallow Nest and this is the City of Tears, which is the name of the capital? I wonder what happens if you just buy the key as soon as it comes available and open that big door if that also leads here into Hallow Nest. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area. Available now. I, I bought that already. are those traveller's journals or scholar's journals that the that the old historian wanted to buy. Now I did not sign up to fight a sorcerer today. Luckily he was a complete weenie like most sorcerers. A soul twister, a highly intelligent bug that uses arcane knowledge to twist soul into vicious spells. I never actually looked at this before. 
My ghost is an echo of a previous life. Each of us leaves an imprint of something when we die, a stain on the world. I don't know how much longer this kingdom can bear the weight of so many past lives. <laughs> Defeat one more hornet, so I guess that means there'll be another boss fight against hornet at some point. Lovely, vaguely Final Fantasy-esque organ music in here. Different from the gentle piano and harp that we've been having previously here in Hallow Nest. Okay, ornate door, probably needs an ornate key. that? Mistake. Once a highly intelligent bug deformed by misuse of soul. So I guess misusing soul energy is part of the calamity that happened here. And it looked like that bug sorcerer was using orange stuff. So I guess the orange stuff isn't some kind of external parasitic infection or whatever like I was theorizing. Maybe it's you know, it's something they've done to themselves. It's some kind of... Some kind of disgusting, gross, curdled soul energy. Gross, stinky soul energy. Soul energy that hasn't showered in a while. Abba. The mind still limits us so. How to break past its constraints? To attain a pure focus, is it even possible? <clears throat> Yet more intriguing tidbits of narrative. Or narrative, narrative bits, if you will. Oops. Why do I get the feeling I'm about to fight a big wizard? Either that will talk to a big wizard. You can never tell. <laughs> I'll die. Wasn't quite ready to take that guy on, I think. Be good if there was a shortcut, but there is not. There is naught cut. Oh, really? He didn't seem that difficult, I say, having gotten my ass kicked.
That's fair. I am very good at video games. Well, you were studying literary technique. I studied the blade. Ow, ghost? That's not helpful. I mean, what I should really be doing is tailoring my, uh, tailoring my trinket loadout to each fight. The Balder shell would definitely help here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was it? I thought he was going to be tougher. Uh, but the Balder shell would have helped because it would have protected me while I was healing. And, uh, a couple of other ones would have been useful as well. Get wrecked. Oh, what's that below? There was a, an exit to the right, it looks like I missed. differences between the way I use soul and the way they use soul. Implicitly there is one. Not least because my soul is white and clean and pure and theirs is all stinky and orange and full of bad feelings. See, when I, when I found the rancid eggs, it was in a sort of an orangey gloop. So I assumed that that was like Maybe an egg of whatever the parasite that's doing all this terrible stuff to people's brains was. Oh, lemon. I'm hungry now. I love lemon flavoured things. Let's see, it's six o'clock. Which means I can't eat until nine o'clock. Oh, I'm gonna be so hungry. Wait, shit, does this guy respawn like these do sometimes? No, okay, that's fine then. in enclosed spaces. Ah, that's all that was. That's what my parents said when they had me. Not that I have parents, of course. As I am, after all, a robot constructed solely to play video games for the benefit of others. Now, see, why bother to do that? Why make me go up here? to hit that to unlock a shortcut that gets me past like literally six inches of space with no no threats in it 
I do have a very dark soul. Or I would if I had a soul. Unfortunately, as mentioned, I am a robot. get a lot less soul out of these weird soul canisters than you do out of the sort of magical refilling soul totems. The weirdly phallic ones that we found elsewhere in the world. Weirdly phallic soul totem. There's a song title for you. Oh fuck, fucking sorcerers, Jesus Christ. Lesson one that I learned reading X-Men comics as a kid is when you're fighting a teleporter, never let them get control of a location. They need to be on the back foot, not you. This super looks like a doorway. I feel sure that I'm- on one of my previous attempts to play this game, I had found the ground pound. At some point. Like, before, before coming down here. So where do you get the ground pound from? Ground Pound is obtained from the boss of this zone. Okay, well that's interesting because I definitely haven't completed this before. Weird. This reminds me of a lot of the music from Final Fantasy IX, secret best Final Fantasy. Wizards. No sense of right and wrong. Can I ultimately be blamed for all of society's ills? Spell Twister. That sounds fun. Reflecting the desires of the souls. Oh, fuck. Fuck off. Leave me alone. Reflecting the desires of the soul sanctum for mastery over soul. It improves the berry's ability to cast spells, reduces the soul cost of casting spells. I wonder how much buy. Because I've only got one spell at the moment, right? Which is the tap B to do a blast thing. I don't think healing counts as a spell, does it? I do love the windows. Every single tiny little bit of this anima of the animations and the visual art in this game are just gorgeous, really evocative. Hmm, I smell the boss of this zone. Huh, could that be him? <laughs> Would you say that you like big blasts and cannot lie? <laughs> This guy might take a few tries. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, beans. I really ought to be able to at least lead his own orbs back into him, if not... If not literally, also. Uh, I forget what I was going to say. Pinpoint's current location, I don't need that. Currently? How do I unequip that? Oh, I need to be on the bench. Let's see. Unequip that. Unequip that. That'll leave. That'll probably leave as well. Draw more soul. Gain soul when damaged. More damage when I'm about to die. Cheaper casting. Shield while healing is just so useful. Damage over time when focusing, and bonus hit points. Bonus hit points would also be very good. How much is that? That's two notches, and this is two notches. I'll get rid of Dash Master and... Just while fighting this guy, you know. By the way, if, you ever, if you're ever prevented by a large round uh, policeman soldier or royal guard type figure uh remember that you can simply avoid him by jumping over his head and using the air dash i do this all the time to get out of parking tickets ah come back i think i'm making a mistake actually this is the faster way My temporary hit point. No, this isn't the faster way. This is the wizard way. Any shortcut that requires you to fight wizards is inherently slower than one that does not. sucker. Boy, I'm sure I'm glad he can't- oh wait. Man, am I gonna have to do that every time I want to come fight these guys? Or this guy, rather. I do not approve. Oh, he did hit his own... his own thing. Mm -hmm. 
Oh wait, maybe he just is dodging mid his own attack just to screw with me. <laughs> That's nice. Oh man, this is a good boss fight. How many hit points do you have? Hell yeah, new wizard spell. Oh, fuck. I'll oh, suck my dick. Are you kidding me? You're supposed to be dead, you miserable bastard. Dodge this. <sighs> Losing on phase two is always such a pain in the ass. Now, what was the quick way back up? tough actually the old dota standby game is hard no that's wizards this is the way that's not wizards right the wizard free uh option <laughs> Direct path to boss. Now wizard free. Ha. That was the way that you have to fight a wizard on that side at least. There go my temporary hit points. Well, there go my real hit points.
Maybe I should keep the, the multiple dashes available. Hmm, he takes an extra hit point now. Oh, here we go again. Come on, man, this is balloon behaviour, but you're better than that. Wait, I think he teleports if I get too far out of the way from underneath one of the dive attacks. That's what's happening. Now, did you learn your lesson? Thank you. Desolate dive. Being down to blast downwards. Nice, okay. Yeah, no, I definitely don't remember that. Maybe I just dreamed once that I could could get through whatever it was I couldn't get through. Oh, well, so much for him. Sorcerer ain't, I guess. Oops. <laughs> and with that, I think we're now officially the furthest I've ever been into this game.
Hell yeah, boss loot. I keep forgetting I don't have the amulet that collects treasure for me anymore. <laughs> Nest seal. Another variation of soul generator. Maybe that's the head of the. Oh, hey, there's a. Anyway, maybe that was the head of whatever the whatever mysterious worm components are uh, granting me soul. Welcome, little buddy. You, however, are not. Fuck off! Oh my god. Are these the bodies of everyone here who screwed up soul magic and became a weird, horrible gloop? I wouldn't put it past them to just pile them all up. Keep checking my map and forgetting I don't have my like map marker on it anymore. Oh, hang on. I guess these aren't all parts of the same thing because here's three of them that have been disconnected in the background. We've never seen them lying around loose before. Again in Wizard City. Let's see. So if that's the wizard's zone, I think I need to go around the other side to go to go rest at the resting thingy. Was that below here? Actually, yeah, that would have been down from here. Because I remember this being on the boss path. Oh, okay, I know where I am now. That's where that locked door is. So I need to go down and around. Also, that does confirm to me that the what I thought was a locked door that we found way back in, like, Fungus Town or the Green Place or uh, somewhere around there that I thought looked like a locked door is probably a locked door. Aha! win at wizards okay that looks like that's kind of fully explored so i guess the question now is where do i go from here this means that i can explore the mines that i found previously 
And there's at least there's two doors that I can open with keys. Let's see where those go. I'm, I'm a little bit undirected at this point. What's the other one I had? Oh, that one. I think I should probably go back to the surface and spend my money before I lose it all. I was about to say, I hate it when these guys swarm me, and then I was like, oh. Wastelands beyond the borders of Hallow Nest. Why were the the masked knights sent out there anyway? Maybe they were banished for some kind of sin. Patamas, Gio. Money, eh? Takes forever to gather, spent in a moment. So, okay, that... I guess that means there's, like... There's a couple of secret areas that I, I know I have walked past that need the... That need the, uh... The ground pound to get into, but I'm not sure where they were. And I do know now that the mines over here are accessible, as is the dark space over here, and the dark space is back this way as well. Um, and then down at the very bottom of here, there's that weird sewer access sort of place, I think. And there's a locked door here, and there's a locked door around here somewhere? I think there's one around here as well. Anyway. So I could proceed to explore those at some point, but I think after I unlock this door and see what's on the other side, I'll be calling it a night. Wait, shit, I did buy the other key, didn't I? Yeah, I did. It's fine. No mistakes. It's all good. Oh, spooky. Oh, hi. What's up? Welcome, small intruder. I've been sound asleep in here for some time. Ah, yes, yes. Well, now you've gone and woken me up. It's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. I am Gigi, and if you have found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world, like black stains. Huh, okay, so... Continuing in the Dark Souls parallels, specifically the Dark Souls 1 parallels, we even have a partner. We don't deal with these regrets. Hope starts to drain from us. Do you have regrets of your own, little one? Let me peer into you for a moment. Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky for you. You don't need the services of one such as I. Curious. So I guess that indicates... I guess that indicates that it's possible to upset NPCs, maybe? Because that's how that worked in Dark Souls. So I guess maybe there are, there are some... Or maybe there's certain decision points in the plot where you can decide one way or another and you may regret what decision you made. That's another possibility. Hmm. 
Still no idea what's up with the Temple of the Black Egg. Pretty big egg, though. Concerning that it may one day hatch. Hmm, okay, so you can't upset the NPCs. So, why the need for a confessor? Okay, so, let's see. What did I say it was? We've got, uh... There's some random, random areas I could go collect, or I could try and make progress through the, the area over here, the jellyfish place, or I could try and make progress through the underground place, or maybe try and try and work my way deeper into Hollow Nest, or I could go to the mines. I think I'll go to the mines next. So I'll just waddle over there, and then. Oh, this is this is shut. <laughs> Bury my body, cover my shell. What meaning in darkness, yet here I remain. I'll wait here forever till light blooms again. See, she has orange eyes, which every single thing with orange eyes that we've seen anywhere previously has been, like, maddened, mindless, or a resurrected corpse, all of which were attacking us relentlessly. So, kind of weird. What's up with that? Anyway, so that's going to be it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.